Receive him or refuse The great big giant What are you gonna do? The great big giant He's telling lies to you The great big giant Might be inside of you You've got the courage and the strength To shout from within And say no! It's not my friend. Dominic had a secret. It was a great big giant looming secret. He carried it around in his inside where no one could see that he was full of hurt and regret. Some days he was happy, while other days he was not. Because sometimes his stomach felt like it was tied in one big knot. His emotions got the best of him. He did not know what he was feeling. Like living in dark, gloomy days with secrets that he was concealing. It made him feel embarrassed. He was very quiet and shy. When people asked why he was quiet, he could not even tell them why. Instead of joining in at recess, when it was time to play, he would huddle in the corner and try to stay out of everyone's way. When asked questions in class, he would not raise his hand. He would duck behind his book, hiding, just like he had planned. One day, Miss Raffner was teaching her class and going through her paces. She said, our lesson today is called Inappropriate Touch. It is when someone touches you in private places. Your body belongs to you, and no one should touch you in your private place. There is good touch and there is bad touch in every boy and girl's case. Dominic started thinking about that secret that had broken his pride, like a battle that he was fighting deep from his inside. Ms. Raffner said, don't ever let anyone make you feel like you can't tell a trusted adult. You are never alone when you tell someone you trust to help you with your result. Before the class ended and the students all stood in their line, Dominic just stayed in his chair as if he was left behind. Ms. Raffner smiled and said to the room, Class dismissed! But Dominic just sat there, looking sad with tightly clenched fists. Dominic began to cry. That great, big, giant, looming secret was stuck way deep in his chest, but he knew he had to get it out if he was ever to feel his best. He told his teacher that he was being touched by his cousin, who said if he told, he would hurt him more times than a dozen. They will never believe you if you ever told. You are just a kid. You are eight years old. I believe you, said his teacher. With those three words, hope replaced his dread. That great big giant looming secret was emptied from his head. Dominic felt free. He could be happy, move on, and have fun. He could be happy as any boy or girl could be. His secret was over and done. Bye.
Oh, oh, oh.